Okay. I want to open up and talk about Hollywood knows the truth. It's been a long time since I've discussed that topic. This, but there's one thing. Y'all heard of uh, the Prince of Wallachia? Vlad the Impaler, you heard of him? Mm -hmm. Dracula, you heard of him. Reigned from 1448 to 1447. As a young man, he was called Vlad the Impaler, also called AKA Drac Dracul or Dracula. Him and his father belonged to the Order of the Dragon, which was a fraternal order of knights, okay? Um, his father's name was Dracul, okay? And they were, it was, uh, Order of the Dragon was made up of noble knights, noble knights. And it was based on the military orders of the Crusaders. You heard of the Crusades, right? So it was during that time requiring its members to defend and fight the enemies of Christianity. So they fought against the Islamic regime that was the Ottoman Turks mm -hmm. that were trying to push their way in. Y'all saw the movie Dracula Untold, right? Okay, now we're going to show a few clips from that, and I'm going to comment on it. Uh, we got it queued up? Okay. Let's start off at the beginning, and I'm going to go to 2 minutes and 19 seconds. I want you to pay close attention. Pay close attention. In the year of our Lord, 1442, the Turkish Sultan enslaved 1,000 Transylvanian boys. So the Ottomans would take the, the young boys. Of his army. Uh, I'm gonna show you that. Although they got white people, they Hollywood got us so confused about this era. I'm gonna show y'all that Hollywood is the devil the Bible speaks of. Play on. These child slaves were beaten without mercy, trained to kill without conscience, to crave the blood. Of all who defied the Turks. The Turks were the Ottoman Turks. Muslims. From among these boys, one grew into a warrior so fierce that entire armies would retreat in terror at the mention of his name. Vlad the Impaler, son of the dragon. See, he has a dragon on his, uh, his armor. They belong to the Order of the Dragon. Go ahead, play. Dragon. And Sickened by his monstrous acts, Vlad came to bury his past with the dead and returned to Transylvania to rule in peace. His subjects called him Prince. I called him Father. But the world would come to know him as... Dracula. That's why he was called uh, Vlad the Impaler. He impaled his victims. All those Muslims, he was slaughtering them and hanging them on stakes. And then he would have dinner in the midst of their dead bodies. His blood was everywhere. That's why he got the name Dracula. So from there, history had called him an outlaw, an evil man, and all of that. But his job was to protect Christianity from Islamic invasion. That was his order mm -hmm. to do. So... I'm going to jump ahead. I'm going to go to, go to 847. Now I'm going to show y'all that Hollywood knows that the rulers during the Byzantine Empire were not Caucasian people at all. I'm going to say it again. I know they might got this side of the room fooled over here, but sisters, y'all going to be all right. Y'all just bear with us and come along. Just follow. You're going to be good. None of the rulers during this time were white. None. And as we watch this, I'm, you, some of y'all going to pick it up. Some of y'all going to sleep. Play the video. <laughs> this is family. He's, that's him, Dracula. He's coming in. I missed you. <laughs> and I you. See y'all looking at the white woman. Oh, look at her. She's My so lovely. Look at the breast of this. Look. What an embrace, but no kiss. Are we going to argue? You're always leaving on me in my film. <laughs> I've missed you. Something troubles you. What is it? Oh, 
only the impossible depth of your beauty. It's the rest <laughs> of the world to shame. <laughs> Pay no attention to your father, Ingrid. Flattery is a cheap distraction from truth. Ah, she knows all my tricks. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. It's one of your most endearing qualities. A distant type of bed. Can we go riding tomorrow, Papa? Of course we can. You most certainly cannot. Why not? Because tomorrow is the day of our risen Lord. Oh, of course. That's Easter. What was I thinking? Did anybody see what I saw? Everybody fell asleep. Wow! Hollywood just put a whole blanket on. Roll the tape back to when he enters the castle. Roll it back. Roll it back. So when he gets there, I got, come on, because y'all sleep. Everybody sleep. You sleep, too. You sleep, too. I thought he, he usually see everything. Come on, brothers. Go back to 847. When he, <laughs> pause, pause. I'm going to tell y'all the secret. I'm going to tell you how Hollywood did to you. They put the white woman in you men's face, and you said, oh, look at the beauty, beautiful white woman. Then the white man came and these women got, oh, he's so handsome. Stop looking at them. Look in the background on the walls. Look in the background on the walls. Roll the tape once again. I missed you. And I you. My big soldier. Stop looking at the white woman. Watch the walls. Watch the embrace, but no kiss. Are we going to argue? Oh, now you're saying, oh. <laughs> but there, there's more. Just, just keep going. Something troubles you. What is it? Only the impossible depth of your beauty. Puts the rest <laughs> of the world to shame. <laughs> Pay no attention to your father, Ingrid. Flattery Look is at the background. Truth. <sighs> she knows all my tricks. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. It's one of your most endearing qualities. A distant type of bed. <laughs> can we go riding tomorrow, Papa? Of course we can. You most certainly cannot. Why not? Because tomorrow is the day of our risen Lord. See, I had to bring the book so you know I got the book. Don't ask me how I got it. Don't, don't ever ask that. <laughs> but I got it. All Treasures of Russia. Uh-oh. I want the inside of the book. Okay. All Treasures of Russia. This is the name of the book. Harry N. Abrams Incorporated Publishers, New York. Okay. Now, look at, y'all seen the movie. You see the picture? In the background, y'all can see angels, and you can see an outline of a horse with a circle around the horse right behind her. Now, bear with me a second. Bear with me. Wait, what page is it? Bear with me. I wrote it down somewhere. Okay, bear with me, y'all. So bear with me. Uh, page 140. So y'all know we ain't just whistling Dixie. Okay, here is the painting here. This is what we're looking at. Now, y'all see the horse in the middle with the wings? Do y'all see that? A black angel on a horse with wings. Now, go back to Dracula so you can see that. And you see the angels around him. Go back to the movie. Look, look, this is the actual painting on the wall in the castle. The same place where they're standing at is the same place the photographer stood when he took the picture of when he exactly. took the picture. That's what the bishop is telling you. Exactly. Now, let's go to the various pictures. I took these snapshots for y'all, so y'all can. This is all on the wall that they're doing the scene in. So what we want to do now is see who the scholars have identified these people to be. I'm gonna start right there where it says the icon, the icon of the church militant, originally known as the Blessed Army of the Heavenly King in which amid angels and saints we again see the figure of the overweeningly 
ambitious czar. The icon shows the victorious host advancing in three columns along the banks of a river winding between densely wooded hills. Plates, pages 130 to 133. Behind them is the city of Kazan in flames. And in, Kazan was an uh, Islamic uh, area where you had whites and Arabs joining together, and you had our people there too. In flames. And in front is the heavenly city of Jerusalem. Because remember, the Crusades was about battling for control of Jerusalem. At the gates of Jerusalem are the virgin and child. That's Mary and Christ. We're going to zoom in on them too. And angels are crowning the victors with golden crowns, which they have received from the hands of Jesus. At the head of the armies is the archangel Michael, galloping along on a winged horse. So now we know that the man on the winged horse was the archangel Michael, galloping on a winged horse and pointing to the walls of Jerusalem as if drawing attention to the celestial bliss which lies so close at hand. Behind him, meaning behind Michael, the archangel, is the youthful commander of the army, Tsar Ivan. Y'all heard of Ivan the Terrible? So Ivan the Terrible is behind Michael, the archangel, riding at a steady pace. Let's pause there. Let's go back to the painting. Right there. Zoom in. Go to the angel. The angel's there. Behind him. Behind the winged horse is Ivan the Terrible. Do you see the black hands and a black face? So Ivan the Terrible that we all have read about was never a white man. Okay? Now let's go back to the reading. I want to see who this guy right here is with the cross. Okay. I'm going to jump down to the next paragraph where it says the icon was painted to commemorate the capture of Kazan. But why, one may well ask, do the warriors include a gigantic figure of Constantine the Great carrying a cross? Stop, let's go back now. So behind Ivan the Terrible, look on the horse with the cross. So this is, so this is Constantine the Great, a black man. And look at the host of the army around him. They're all black men. So who is this on a horse? Constantine the Great. Y'all see all them black? See, Hollywood, and you mean to tell me, when those actors did the scene, they nobody knew. said, hey, no. all these black people on the wall. So let's so. go back to the, to the writing. See, y'all so focused on Miss Anne, you miss your own history right behind Miss Anne. To hell with Miss Anne. Come on, let's look at them right before I lose my mind. Okay. Warriors include a gigantic figure of Constantine the Great carrying a cross, as well as the three princes, Vladimir, Boris, and Gleb. Let's go back now and look at Vladimir, Boris, and Gleb. Y'all can read about them on your own. See behind Constantine, see the three figures back there? There's Vladimir, Boris, and Gleb right there. Look at their army. So when you when you see movies about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. That was your ancestors. The knights, the black men. That's what they called us knights because we was black as hell. Make me mad. All this truth they hiding. You see that? That's Vladimir, the first one, followed by Boris and Gleb, the three princes. Okay. Let's go back to the writing. That's what he mad at. Okay. Uh, what connection? Can this event, which took place in the year 1552, have with a 4th century Greek emperor and these 11th century Russian princes? There is, of course, no connection at all. The figures, so they're saying that each of these figures were at different timelines in history, but the artists who did it put them all together and, uh, and honored and represented the militant church which fought against the Ottoman Turks, the Islam Muslims, which was also our people also. Uh, where was that at? Okay, the figures are included to emphasize to emphasize emphasize certain historical parallels. Constantine contended with heretics. Vladimir baptized the heathen. Ivan the Fourth converted Mohammedans Mohammedans to the Orthodox faith. So it goes on. So this history. So let's go back to the big painting. 
right there uh, is Jerusalem with Mary and Mary's holding Christ as a baby. And look at all the angels around them. Black. Look at the wings. Look at look at Mary, the black woman. Look at Christ, the black son. These are black people. I just get excited when I see this stuff. It makes my teeth white. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff our sons and our daughters need to see every day and relish this stuff. Exactly. Because our history has been destroyed. Yep. Y'all see that. They, Literally. Esau did a superb job. He is the devil, the Bible speaks of. Hey. Now, just in case somebody gets simple, but it doesn't say that they're black in the Bible. Can you get me Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 13? Oh. Please, for the living creatures. It talks about the angels. <laughs> hey, they Let's see if it says red. Red and hairy angels. No, no, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all better put some earplugs in because when you hear this thing, your head might explode. <laughs> can you put the picture back so we can see it? Not the white woman. Thank you. Thank you, brothers. We appreciate it. Come on, Cap. Ezekiel. Chapter 1, verse 13. 13. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. Y'all know what a coal looks like? Black, 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 black. The appearance of the living creatures was like burning coals of fire. But the angels are black. God is black. Right, exactly. There you go. Now you're hitting them. This is what we're seeing. So when our forefathers painted this stuff, they knew, they knew the scriptures too. They said, this is what the Bible is saying. This is us. But the white man, they'll put white images up, and you believe that with no scriptural evidence. Exactly. You've got to be kidding me. Now, zoom in on the Kazan on fire. Kazan. So this is after the knights during the Crusades burnt up Kazan. And they're marching on the horseback going back to Jerusalem. This thing is heavy. Okay. Look at these black Crusaders. Look at these warriors, these Israelites on horseback. Look at all these soldiers. And this was called, they dubbed this picture the militant church. The church militant. Because the church has always been militant. When you read the Bible, brothers and sisters, we've always been militant. Because it was our job to make sure the other nations didn't bring in their stupid doctrines. Get that in Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 11. Go back to Constantine on this. Go back to Constantine. Zoom in. Because on his garment, he got studs. Do y'all see the studs? Isaac, read the scripture. We will make the borders of gold with studs of silver. Do y'all see that? Y'all think, we, y'all think we, the way we, we made it? We got it from the Bible. Our ancestors got it from the scriptures. Borders of gold with studs of silver. That's what we're looking at right there. Look at the knights behind him with the armor. You see it? They've got what armor they on chain it. Mail chain mail. Chain mail. Thank you. Right. That's the word. Black. They called them the knights. These were noblemen. Can we go back to Dracula now? 847. Now that we know what to look for, now we can focus on the background and stop looking at the breastuses of the white woman. And I, you. My big soldier. <laughs> Lots of embrace, but no kiss. Are we going to argue? You're always leaving on me in my film. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. Something troubles you. What is it? Only the impossible depth of your beauty. Puts the rest of the world to shame. <laughs> Pay no attention to your father, Ingrid. Flattery is a cheap distraction from truth. Ah, she knows all my tricks. 
<laughs> You're a terrible liar. It's one of your most endearing qualities. You're just in time for bed. <laughs> can we go riding tomorrow, Papa? Of course we can. You most certainly cannot. Why not? Because tomorrow is the day of our risen Lord. Oh, of course. That's Easter. All your truth is in the movie on the wall. And you're so busy. Look at the white woman, her yellow hair, and the breast decision she got. The white man go, yeah, they're asleep. You mean the director didn't know when they went to Transylvania, Romania, where to do they 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 send out scouts. Go out there and we want a, X, we want this place to do the movie in. Then they know they, when they went in there, they said, look at all these black people. Then they knew the black people was in there before there they sent go. them. There you go. You're right. Because the people that live in the area say, hey, it was all black people over here. Then when the actors got there, all these actors that y'all love, they're in there doing this and cut, and they say, wait, wait, hey, hey, Harry, Harry, hey, look at the walls. <laughs> Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.